Okay, and we're back with another video. So, hi, my name's Oti, and I'm like the best person in the entire world. Go follow me on TikTok. Whatever. Now that's out of the way, let's talk about today's topic. Today we're talking about job interviews, because everyone needs a job. I mean, you actually do. I mean, you just can't be staying in your parents' basement until you're 35 with five kids and three wives and... Oh, God, that sounds like a messy situation. Anyway, so the reason I talked about it because um, it's going off on Saturday, but Friday. So yesterday, but it's, we're going to be calling it today, but right after my cheerleading video. So we're going to talk about cheerleading, the job interview, that weird, weird train of thoughts there. But anyway, um, could I have a job interview or had a job interview Friday? It was, so let me explain how this worked and how being visually impaired might have changed it or benefited me or or hurt me. I was trying to think of the opposite of benefit. Uh, put me at a disadvantage, yeah. So, it took three attempts to meet with the manager. So what you what usually happens is you go in, you're like, hey, can I fill out an application? They're like, sure, here's an application. You fill it out, and you turn it in. They're like, hope to hear back from you. The manager, well, you put your phone number, and the manager calls you like, hey, I would want to have an interview. So the first time it's just a, you walk into... Dairy Queen, where I went, Walmart, Starbucks, whatever, you fill out an application, turn it in, the manager called you, like, hey, I would like to have an in-person meeting with you, or I guess it could be over the phone. Uh, they talk to you, see what kind of skill you have, why you want to do the job, what hobby, like, what you, what you want to do to benefit them in the job, and they're like, we'll get back to you, or they'll just hire you on the spot, you're super good. And you start work. But um, for Dairy Queen, for my situation, you had to have a conversation with the with the um, with the manager. So she, the manager and owner of Dairy Queen, the one, the very watch from my house. Um, so it it would uh, that's nice. So we drove up there last Friday or something. So basically, like, hey, can we talk to the manager? It was a Thursday, and they're like, oh, the manager isn't here today. It was a Thursday, and we're like, okay. Because the manager had to be there to fill out an application. So you don't fill out an application. I guess one of those where I guess you talk to the manager and then you, she give you the application or what. But I'll, I'll get back to that later. And they're like, no, the manager's not here. Come back Saturday. Saturday, we were out of town. And we went back yesterday. So that would be Thursday again. Maybe a full week or something. That's crazy. Uh, and they're like, oh, she she just left. Sorry, because she said she would be there till four thirty, but we showed there at three thirty, and she was gone. So the time we're like, we're we're getting there. We went there at noon, and they they're like, you're looking for the you're looking for the owner. We're like, yes, we are. <laughs> this is the third time we're here in a week. Okay, yeah, we're looking for her. We're trying to track it. Yeah. So then we had a ten minute conversation with her, and this is the interview part that I wanted to get to. So we finally talked to her Friday, and here's how it went. So my dad and I were sitting across from her, and she. She right off the bat knew who I was because I like running. I do uh, running for fun, and she knows me for that. Also from the YMCA and stuff like that. So that was that was already something cool that she already knew me. So it's not this weird tense meeting like so. Who are you? But no, nah, she already knew who I was. Uh, she saw me in the newspapers and stuff like that. So that's that's nice. And uh, so we sat down. She's like. So, what kind of stuff can you do? I'm like, well, I can clean tables, and I can do the dishes, and stuff like that. And she's like, I don't know. I'm really trying to think outside the box for stuff for you to do to keep you busy. And I'm like, I just gave you two things that I can do. Um, she's like, how much can you see? I'm like, I don't have any functional vision. I'm completely blind. Um, she's like, okay. I'm like, I can take my can. I can walk around and sense the booths. Uh, don't move. Right, since they're attached to the wall, I can just walk around, learn my way around this place, and I can I have a really good visual memory, which is where I can memorize where things are. Like I can picture seeing them there. And she's like, okay. And then she, she, she wasn't gonna hire me. I could tell just by the first couple minutes that she wasn't gonna hire me. She was really trying to rack her brain for something for me to do. She's like, I've had a hearing impaired person, but not a visually impaired person. Um, but there, there's just countless amount of things that I could have done, okay? It's sort of like your house. I mean, you, you do the dishes at your house, do dishes at a restaurant. You wipe down the dining room table at your house, just wipe down several smaller tables at a restaurant. You mop the floors and sweep the floors at your house, mop and sweep the floors at Dairy Queen, okay? It's not that hard. Also, that soda machine, I swear, 
every time. It's super sticky. It doesn't matter if you're at McDonald's or Dairy Queen or Arby's. Okay, it is the stickiest place in the world. And especially if everyone wanting to be sanitized and clean these days. Um, you, you, uh, they really need to wipe that steering machine out. It's so gross. Every time you go over there to fill up a cup and there's just, there's just sodas all over the place and, uh, and the stickiness and pieces of garbage. You know how people take the straws out of the raft and they just leave them wherever. Yeah, that, that stuff is disgusting. But anyway, so I could have done that. So, yeah, I would not, like, I guess it was a good interview. And so she took her phone number. She's like, I'm going to talk to my friend at the Y. Speech, stop, record, okay. speech. She's off. like, I'm going to talk to my friend at the Y and see if if um they're hiring there. I'm like, the Y? I want to work at Dairy Queen. Why the Y? And I'm like, she's like, have you tried anywhere else? I'm like, no, this is the first place I tried. Because I put out a Facebook post looking for suggestions and someone said, Dairy Queen needs help bad. <laughs> that was the only people are like, yeah, you can go to Taco Bell, you can go to Subway, but Dairy Queen needs help bad. And I'm like, well, that's the first place I'm trying then. Um, so, that was, that was, that was interesting. So, yeah, I didn't get hired. So, still unemployed. Um, I think being visually impaired, honestly, really hindered. That's the word, hindered. The opposite of benefit. Hindered me, um, in that situation. Because if I could see, I, I mean, I don't, I have no clue why I couldn't have done that job. And the weird thing is, she has a son that, uh, in Special Olympic. So, like, we, I do Special Olympics, her son does Special Olympic. So, it's just interesting how I didn't get hired for that. So, I don't know where I'm going to try next. Uh, Subway, Walmart, is uh, Taco Bell. I have no, no clue at all. Burger King. <laughs> um, I mean, it seems like everywhere is hiring these days. I mean, unemployment is going to end in the, ne- the next month. Well, for Illinois, for Missouri, it would cut off a couple of weeks ago. I know that much. And so people aren't wanting to work right now because they're getting paid more from their unemployment checks than working a minimum wage job at the least. So, like, the minimum wage is $11, uh, $11 an hour, 40 hours a week. That is, uh, God, 4 times 11 it's forty four 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 hundred forty dollars a week, and uh, so that's with that's like before you do taxes, and then you do four forty times four, cause that's how many we start in a month. Uh, four forty. Uh, four eight. No God, I'm messing this up. Forty four eighty eight. 88 plus eighty eight eight plus eight is sixteen. Six down one eight sixteen seventeen. Uh, what I say, one seventy six, one seven six, so one thousand seven hundred sixty dollars a month. If you're working a minimum wage do- job, and that's before taxes and income tax and retirement and all that stuff, so keep that in mind. But apparently, unemployment checks. I don't know if you get them every week or every every week or every month or something like that. But it's more than that seventeen sixty that people are getting. So they're choosing to just stay home and get their unemployment check. Now that's going to be coming to an end next month in the state of Illinois. So people are going to be looking more for jobs. So it's a good time to get a job now. But if I did get a job, I would only have it for a month. It is June eighteenth when I'm recording this. I'm going back to school August fifteenth, thirteenth, seventeenth, somewhere around there. Uh, I don't know the exact date we're starting school, but I mean, I mean, there's no point in me having a job if like I come back every other every other week just for less than 48 hours. I mean, I spend less than 48 hours at my house. Like I come back. Friday, Friday afternoon, it's like 3.30 when I get there. So that's 3.30, the rest of the night on Friday, all Saturday. And then they pick me up again at like 2.30 on Sunday. So less than 48 hours at my own house. You really think I'm spending that one Saturday that I'm at home cleaning up after people dropping their french fries all over the floor? Mm Mm-mm, try again. So, I mean, there's no point in me even keeping a job. So just a summer job. Um, so that, uh, it, it's very, very interesting how that works. So, I'm going to keep posting this and updating this because I think it, it's, it shouldn't be that difficult because visually impaired people can do whatever the hell they want. My mom worked at a hotel. Visually impaired people have climbed Mount Everest. They have done multiple things. Uh, like, I know a blind person that is a college professor at, uh, Eastern Illinois University. A, um, a college about 15 minutes from my house. 
um, blind people can do do so many sensational and cool things, but I can't get a job at Dairy Queen because I swear it's visual impairment. I mean, that's rich for yet. Five years ago, I could see very well. Five years later, can't see at all. So, I mean, but I mean, I can still do pretty much everything that you would need to do for a, a job. I guess I can wipe down the table. I can clean the dishes. Um... I can, I mean, I can talk to the people at the counter, you know, they'll, they'll go in there and be like, I would like a uh, McDouble with a, with a ice cream blizzard. And I'm like, yeah, I, I mean, I can do that. I can't see the little, little computer thing they use to punch up the numbers and stuff like that. But I mean, I can carry food to people's tables. I can call out order numbers. I mean, there, there's just numerous things that you can do. And if you just like, well, you can't see, so we're not going to hire you. I, I swear that's what it came down to, so, yeah, I'll keep you guys poked. I'll see if, like, if I apply at Subway or something, if it goes the same way. And we'll just keep documenting this, how blind people, blind people get treated, I, I guess. So, I mean, I'm not mad at all that I didn't get hired. I mean, I would like to work at Dairy Queen. I mean, you know, making that money, but if they just want me to chill at home and make YouTube videos, I, I guess I can do that. YouTube videos and TikToks. So, uh, yeah. That's where I'm gonna end this one. Hope that, uh, actually, I hope you don't have an experience like this. Just, I just thought I would share this and sort of talk about how, uh, well, like I said, how visually impaired people deal with stuff like this. So, you know, hope you learned something. If, you, if you're if a visually impaired person, hopefully you don't have to relate to this. Because, um, I want to become a statistician when I'm older, uh, after I graduate high school. And if I'm getting turned down from Dairy Queen because I can't see, what the heck am I going to do when I try to go into a math field because I can't see? That's going to be that's gonna be a whole other topic. I and mean, I'm very excited. I mean, I keep, you know, I keep going, but one more thing. I'm very excited to, um, to like, for after high school videos. Because like, I'm a senior now, so I'm going to be going through the process of being a senior and all that stuff. And then after that, it's like, college or, or work or vacation or whatever but you know just cool stuff like that so yeah doing a card uh going to the cardinal game in a week uh gonna be blogging that i just decided that that should be cool so um yeah i'll see you guys in another video uh, bye